Carolyn invested $1,000 in an account getting 3% annual interest. Compounded monthly. Compounded monthly. How long will it take to the nearest whole year for that money to grow to $1,500? So the amount that she started with, we'll call that P, P for principal, she's starting with $1,000. And when you say 3% annual interest compounded monthly, what they're really saying is that you get 1 12th of this 3% every month. So the interest rate, the interest rate in question, if we view it on a per month basis, which is actually the relevant time period because they're saying it's compounded monthly, the interest rate is going to be 3% divided by 12 per month, per month, which is the same thing as 0.25% per, per month. So if we ask ourselves, how much will she have after one month? Well, she started with $1,000. She started with $1,000, and she's going to add 0.25% times $1,000. This is actually at, this is just after one month. Or if you factor the 1,000 out, she's going to have 1,000 times 1 plus 0.25%. This is after one month. After two months, you would then grow this amount by 1 plus 0.25%. So then after two months, you would multiply that times 1 plus 0.25%. After three months, you would have to multiply this whole thing again by this amount, by 1 plus, so times 1 plus 0.25%. So this is after three months. So this is three months. Four months, we'd multiply it again. So after n months, so after n months, she would have her original principal, $1,000, times 1 plus 0.25%. And I'm not adding it on purpose, just so that you can kind of see what we're doing. So this is how much she would have after n, after n months. But we want to figure out how many months will it take her to get to $1,500. So we want to say, well, what does n have to be equal to for this, this amount to be equal to $1,500, for this to be $1,500? Or another way to think about it, this is saying, let me just rewrite it. Let me actually just add this. We have 1,000 times 1. Point, let's see, 0.25 percent. 0.25 percent is the same thing as 0. 0.00. We're going to have to move the decimal two spaces to the left. 0, 0, 0.025. So this is going to be 1.0025 to the n is equal to 15. Now we can divide both sides by 1,000. And you get 1.0025 to the n is equal to 1,500 over 1,000, which is just equal to 1.5. I just divided both that and that by 1,000. And then to solve for n, to solve for n, we can take the logarithm of both sides. And I'll just take log base 10 because that's useful. We have that on our calculator. So I'll just write log. This is really log base 10. I'm going to take the log of both sides. And then log of 1.0025 to the n, that's the same exact thing using our logarithm properties. We can take that n and bring it out front. That's the exact same thing as n log of 1.0025. And then to solve for n, we can just divide both sides by log of 1.0025. So let's we'll divide both sides by log of 1.0025, log of 1.0025. This cancels out. We're left with, on the left-hand side, just an n. n is equal to log of 1.5 divided by log of 1.0025. And when I just write log like this, it implicitly means log base 10. And so let's get our calculator out. And we have, and remember, n is going to be in months. So we have. The logarithm of 1.5 divided by the logarithm, the logarithm of 1.0025 gets us, gets us 162.38 months. So let me write that down. So that is 162. Point, I'll just write four months. And the question that they asked us, I think, was to the nearest year. To the nearest whole year, how long will it take? Well, if this is in months, we just divide by 12 for the years. So let's just divide that number by 12. 
it'll take 13 and a half years if we round it to the nearest year, which they're asking us to do. If we go to the tenths place, we have a five. That's obviously greater than or equal to five, so we round up. So we'll round this up to 14 years. So this will take approximately, this will take approximately 14 years, 14 years at that interest rate to grow to $1,500.